It's the first thing I would try anyway, because it seems to solve the problem most of the time. Is adjust the TPS voltage. What you want to do is find your throttle position sensor, which is right here. I'm going to slide this boot off and expose the connector. I'm going to take the connector off so I can show you what I'm going to do here. You just squish, push that pin in right there and pull it off like that. So there's three wires in here. There's a black, an orange, and a blue. You can stick a pin alongside the blue so you can attach an alligator clip to it and then your positive lead for your voltmeter goes to that pin. Let me do that real quick. Okay, it's in there. Literally, just a sewing pin. I stuck it to the right side of the blue wire there. I don't know if you can see that. That way it's not near the orange wire. I think shorting those two out might be really, really bad. And I'm gonna plug it back in. Then I'm gonna take an alligator clip on a wire. I'm gonna connect it to that. Like that. Then, the other end of the alligator clip, way down here, I'm going to connect to this. So stand by. I only have one here. Okay. So we're hooked up. Make sure that doesn't short out to anything metal on the bike. I mean, things could really go sideways. I'm guessing. I don't want to find out though. Take your voltmeter. Put it on DC volts. DC, not AC. Your other lead, you can touch to anywhere on the bike that's gonna be a ground. Notice there's nothing, which is the way it should be. So you wanna come up here, switch in the run position, key on. Come back down here, ground this to your engine, Check your voltage. So mine, I set it 0 0.70. Right now it's 0.696. So maybe when I tightened the torques down previously, uh, it adjusted, it affected the adjustment level. So now let's find the torques and let's bump it up to 0.71. Okay, we're back. And we're going to ground the ground, make sure we still have 0.696, we do. So, snag my 25 Torx, the adjustment is right there. Oops, I should probably get the camera on that, eh? I'm going to loosen that up a little bit. That should be enough. Now, if I rotate this guy up or down, it will change the voltage. So I moved it all the way and it's 786. I'm gonna go for 0 0.71, so I'm gonna move it a little bit here. too far. It doesn't take much movement. So I'm grabbing this right here and I'm sliding it up and down. It pivots like this. The torque locks it down. So we're at 0.713. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to tighten the torques down. Yeah, and so look at that. Tighten the torques down, ended up to 0 0.707. So you have to be careful when you're tightening, tightening it uh, if you're looking for an exact setting. I'm going to go with 0 0.707 because I was wanting 0 0.71, which 707 is close enough. And that's really all there is to it. 
turn your key off. Hopefully your battery's not dead. Take your alligator clip off. Take your pin out. Put your boot back on. When you put this back on, make sure it clips or clicks when you push it on. Get some of this tape back down on the wires. I'm gonna have to maybe heat shrink that or something, but anyway, now the um, the TPS is set a little bit higher. Let's see if it'll start. It hasn't been started in two days. My idle's a little low. But I have a feeling it'll keep going. Didn't use cold start at all. Once it warms up, the idle settles on 12.50. Sounds good to me. So of course, you know, that's really all there is to adjusting the TPS voltage. Um, and we have to throw in the disclaimers don't blow your bike up. Doing something wrong, shorting out something, or probing that connector, you know, and shorting two wires in there. Just pay attention to what you're doing. It's not hard, but just pay attention. And then you too can have a Himalayan that doesn't have a cold start issue. Anyway, hopefully this video helps someone somewhere that's really frustrated with their cold start. You guys ride safe, and thumbs up if you like it. See you later.